I want to uh, take you to a dark corner of a crowded party on a late night, an early miserable winter in Cambridge, Massachusetts, to a conversation between four friends in our first year at Harvard Business School. A conversation inspired by a little wine and uh, a little Marvin Gaye <laughs> and a little more than a little hostility at uh, the idea of working for Goldman Sachs. <laughs> there in that corner, a crazy idea was hatched. Uh, what if, uh, instead of marching off in our pinstripe suits to slave away in a cubicle all summer, we piled into an RV and drove into the heart of America to put our overpriced MBAs to use, not just making a buck, but making a difference by helping entrepreneurs bring their dreams to life. Now, as uh, dutiful MBAs, we knew that the risk-adjusted present value of making a decision under the influence was very low. <laughs> so we slept on it. And we woke up the next morning even more convinced that this little idea that we had could be a very big deal. And we knew that everybody would agree until they didn't. We marched off to the uh, social enterprise people at Harvard and they said, this is a cool idea, but it's not really social enterprise. We went to the entrepreneurship experts. They said, interesting concept, uh, but it's not really entrepreneurship. We went finally to the dean himself found him seated, very solemn, in cashmere scarf, you know, <laughs> mahogany paneled room. And he turned to us and he said, fascinating notion. But we just don't have any money. <laughs> now, a quick note, the endowment of Harvard Business School as of this morning is about $3 billion. <clears throat> but we won't let the truth get in the way of a good story. So there we were, staring at each other through misty eyes as we watched our baby, our dream, our idea die before it even had a chance to live. But just before we pulled the plug, we decided to join a long procession of young kids with crazy ideas who were told by some authority that they couldn't do what they wanted. We said, fuck it, we'll do it anyway. 